Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnessblender.com. Today I have a workout for you for the butt and thighs. And we're going to be doing it in an ABAB format. So we have six groups of two different exercises and we're gonna do each of those groups twice through. It's going to be 40 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. You don't necessarily need any equipment, but if you really want to make this burn, grab a pair of dumbbells. If you don't have them, that's just fine. I've included a short warm up as well as a short cool down. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be working really hard during this routine, so it's really important to get a warm up. If you've been sitting down for a long time, you might want to do a little bit more than this. We're going to start off with a light jog. Just kind of get the blood pumping and the muscles warmed up a little bit. Like I said, if you've been sitting at a computer for hours and hours, you might need to do a little bit more than this because we're doing plyometrics and kind of hit style training along with strength training today, so it's really important to be warmed up. Five seconds, and we're going to switch to just a basic forward step with some arm movements, okay? So forward, just alternating legs. You can, as you start to get a little warmed up, get a little bit deeper into the motion, do a little bit of a lunge if you want, but if you're just getting started, just keep it simple, nice and shallow. Next up, I'm going to come here, just kind of rock back and forth, get the inside thighs ready. Alright, our next interval is going to be a high knee march, just kind of nice and slow, focusing on range of movement, pull your legs up, so as high as you can. Okay, next up we're doing a deadlift plus a reach. So we're going to be doing weighted deadlifts during this routine. So it's a good um, idea to use similar movements in your warm up. Next up, we're doing butt kickers. A little more cardio in here. To be totally honest, I didn't feel like working out today at all, but I know I'll feel better when I'm done. Probably have more energy when I'm done than when I started. We all have days like that. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to push through it. Other times it's okay to take the day off. Just not too many in a row. All right, I'm gonna go into squats. Again, you can do this as shallow or as deep as you, as much as you are warmed up. You can just go nice and shallow if you're still feeling a little cold. Otherwise, drop down as low as you can with a flat back. All right, jumping jacks. So last one, and we'll get into that butt and thigh workout. Ten seconds. All right, so grab a pair of dumbbells if you have them. Otherwise, um, an open wall is also going to help for this next interval. The exercises of the first group are weighted squats or bodyweight squats if you don't have weights at home and wall sets. So it's 40 on with 15 seconds rest, A, B, and then we'll go back and do both of those over again, 40 and 15. Okay, so if you don't have an open wall, you can always use just a plain bodyweight static squat. So go ahead and grab your weights if you got them, up by your shoulders, and start it up. Go as deep as you can control. Use the same rate on the way down as you do on the way up. You don't want to force yourself up out of that like I said before, your body is going to try to cheat where it feels weakest and you don't want to let it do that. You have to force it to work through that weak spot. That's about halfway through our interval.
Make sure you're starting the squat by sticking your butt out first and then sinking. The knees over the toes thing is kind of blown out of proportion. The most important thing is that you start the range of motion at your hips. Okay, drop your weights, keep moving. We get 15 seconds of active rest here. <clears throat> Going into a wall set in about three seconds. All right, sink back, put your back against, the, back against the wall. Don't cheat, it's really easy to cheat on this one. You're gonna wanna do this, you're gonna wanna start sinking or switching legs. If you have to, put your arms up. No cheating, okay? We just hold this here for 40 seconds. We're halfway done already. Breathe while you're here, it's a chance to catch your breath. 10 seconds. <clears throat> Three, two, one. All right, push up. Move around a little bit. Going back into weighted squats. Three, two, one. Those weights up there. Start it up again. It helps to inhale on the way down. Exhale as you push back up. Push up through your heels. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes through the entire range of motion. Keep your chest push out. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders as you go down at the bottom of the range of motion. 10 seconds. There we go. Drop your weights. Keep your feet moving. Get ready for your wall set. Two, one. Here you go. Get those feet out. Try to keep your legs, your thighs should be roughly parallel to the ground. You can always go a little less deep if you need to, but aim for that. starting to burn. Ten seconds left. Keep those hands off those legs. Five, three, two, one. All right, there we go. Grab a drink of water if you need to. We'll start into group number two. Our next two exercises are a lunge touchdown jump, alternating, and a squat with a heel raise. So for the lunge touchdown, you come down and then jump up forcefully, immediately switch and do it on the opposite side. So we're doing it on each, both sides, each interval, okay? For the squat, you kind of come down to a basic squat, stay here, and then do a calf raise. Come right back up, okay? So you get two for one with that one, okay? Start our interval. We've got 40 seconds. Here we go. So down, jump up. Forcefully as you can. Switch each time which leg you're doing. Halfway. seconds. Five. Okay. Squat with the calf raise. The bottom of the motion. Three, two, one. Here we go. So sink down and lift an added bonus you have to hold that squat while you're down there so get a little extra burn out of it if you need to you can hold on to something right here for balance during this exercise too really squeeze up onto those toes 
feel it right here. Two, one. All right. Jog it off. Go back to the single leg jumps. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down and up. A power skip. As hard as you can. Five seconds left. All right. One more, 40 more seconds. Squats and calf raises, okay? Whoa. I'm tired today. <laughs> okay, here we go. Squat, calf raise. There we go. Don't think about it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. And you'll be glad when you're done. Fifteen seconds left. Don't limp through this. Squeeze the entire time. Make it count. You're here anyway. You're doing it anyway. Make it burn. Three, two, one. All right, there we go. Keep it moving. We're gonna go to a short break. Grab a drink of water if you need one, and we'll be right back. For our next round, we've got reverse lunges and jump squats. So for the reverse lunge, just step back, and we're doing each interval on one leg. So I'm starting with my left leg leaning, and we're just staying here for that entire interval, and we'll switch for the B round. And we're coupling that with jump squats. So sink down, push up as forcefully as you can, okay? So here we go, starting with reverse lunges. Like I said, left foot forward for me. If you can do the same at home, it'll help you remember where you're at. We're just staying right here. Make sure your, your weight is evenly distributed between both feet. You don't want to be, you see a lot of people doing this when they're lunging, just drop down straight down between those legs, okay? Keep your core pulled in, your upper body mostly upright. Squeeze on the way down and the way up, especially the way up. This interval is going to, I immediately regret this decision. This is going to burn like mad. All right, shake it off. Breathe the way you can. We have plyometric jump squats coming up. Just keep in mind how awesome these are for shaping the lower body, okay? Tell yourself that again and again and again. Here we go, go. Try to land soft. That's halfway. Just keep it going. Ten seconds. Right foot forward, okay? Here we go. Drop down. Start it up. Ten. 
Use this as an opportunity to catch your breath, okay? I know I need it. Two, one, okay. Shake it out. 10 seconds to jump squats, okay? Two, one, here we go. Push. The longest 40 seconds ever. If you get tired, sink down. Just do a regular squat, but don't start moving, okay? I got about 15 seconds left. There's 10. Oh. Out. Two. One. Oh. My legs are gonna give out on me. Okay. Hit the pause button if you need a longer rest. Otherwise, we're gonna go right back into the next two in just a second. Our next group consists of deadlifts and a stutter ski squat. So for the deadlifts, you're gonna grab as heavy as weight as you can manage, bags of books, jugs of water, whatever you need to if you don't have date weights. Hold them right here, keep your back straight, stick your butt out, and use this nice controlled motion to sink all the way down. You should really be squeezing and feeling this in your glutes and your lower back on the way up. For the ski squat, the stutter squat, you're gonna stand with your feet close together, and we're going down in three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So, you know the drill, 40 on, 15 off, twice through for both of these, okay? So grab your weight, so sink down, and then pull back up. Keep your eyes on the wall ahead of you so that you can keep your chest kind of puffed out the entire time. You don't want to be rounding during this motion. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. About 15 seconds left. Keep just a slight bend in your knees there. All right, drop this weight. Keep your feet moving. Breathe. Start up in five seconds. Two, one. Okay, feet close together, stick your butt out. One, two, three. One, two, three. So make sure you're not, you don't really need to bounce. You're just using nice controlled motions. Stay in, in control of your body the entire time. Having our feet nice and close together targets different parts of the butt and thighs. There's 15 seconds. Make sure you're keeping your back flat and squeeze those glutes, okay? Five seconds, get one more breath in. Okay, jog it out. You can always do something harder. You're free to do burpees or high knees or whatever you want in between these, uh, during these active intervals, active rest intervals. Two, one, here we go. Back flat. Squeeze on the way up. Ten seconds. moving. And get set up, feet close together, and start it up. One, two, three. One, two, three.
You can do these with weights as well. You're more than welcome. <laughs> I probably should have. Got about 15 seconds left. Only go as low as you can control, keeping your back flat, okay? Five seconds. That last one in there. Okay, moving on to the next interval. Our next two exercises are going to be a weighted bridge and a back bow with a hamstring curl. So for my bridge, I'm gonna hold weights right here. You don't have to. You're gonna put your feet as close to your butt as you comfortably can and press upwards for a rep. For the back bow, you're gonna come here, squeeze up, and then bring your legs in. Pull with your hamstrings, the backs of your thighs is where you should feel that motion, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Grab your weight, you want extra resistance for the bridge. Drop down, and press up. We got 40 seconds here. Inhale all the way down, exhale as you press upwards. Make sure you're contracting your glutes the entire time. You don't ever want to set your butt down on the mat. Keep it so it just hovers just barely there so it never really releases. Two, one, right, drop that weight if you've got it. Roll over on your stomach. Okay, for this to be hardest, keep your arms all the way out, okay? Two, one, come up, pull in, back out, and down. Easier way is here. And if you start to find your form suffering, we're focusing on the button thighs here, so pull your arms in if you have trouble focusing on both upper body, getting off the mat, and your lower body at the same time. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, pull back over. Grab your weight if you want one. Get ready. All right. Here we go. Press up. Focus on really squeezing. It's easy to cheat during this exercise. So make sure you're contracting your glutes, contracting your thighs, suck in your gut, keep your core tight. It makes a big difference. Two, one. All right, flip it over on your belly. Stretch all the way out. Start up in five seconds. One, here we go. In and out. These always make me really sore the next day on the backs of my thighs. There's halfway. Fifteen seconds and we're done with this. Three, two, one, and release. All right, we've got one more group left and then we move on to our stretches. For our last group of exercises, I'm gonna go easy on you. This is a nice and easy Pilates inspired move. So first, for one interval, we're doing outside thigh raises. For the second one, we're we'll kicking out that uh, bottom leg and doing inside thigh raises. Okay? So, set up our timers. Stretch all the way out here. 
Point your toes and start it up. Engage your core, suck it in. Focus on contracting the entire time. Nothing should be taking it easy here. Go up as high as you can control. You should be using the same speed for this entire thing. No throwing your leg up there. I see a lot of people using momentum and that just completely defeats the purpose. So make sure you're in control of your body the entire time. Three, two, one. Okay, so take this leg, put this foot on the floor, straighten that bottom leg out, point the toe, and we're gonna lift upwards with this bottom leg so you should feel this all along your inside thigh here. Two, one. Start it up. This is a lot smaller range of motion, but that's okay. You're going to feel it just the same. If you want a breathing pattern, exhale on the way up. Inhale as you lower your leg back down. Try and keep your leg completely straight, your toes pointed. Okay, switching sides here. I'm gonna start on the outside leg. And go flat. Straighten that leg. It's the last side, and then we're done here, okay? All the way up and down. So today we've done strength training and plyometrics, and now we're doing a little bit of Pilates to wrap it up. So definitely had a lot of different types of training in today's workout, which is good. Keeps you from getting bored, keeps challenging your body. This kind of movement is a lot different from a strength exercise because it focuses on kind of a, there's no weight here, so you can increase your range of motion without, with very little chance for injury. Okay, there we go. Now this foot, remember this foot's going flat on the ground. That bottom leg straightens out. Point your toe, enjoy that last couple seconds of rest before we start up. Five seconds. Two, one, here we go. Lift it up. These little um, simple exercises like this burn a lot more, a lot more quickly than they normally would after you've done jump squats and strength training. You feel it a lot faster. It's getting that last ounce of those muscles. Two, one. All right, there we go. If you've stuck it out with me this long, we've made it to the cool down. For our cool down and stretch, we're gonna be doing a number of different cool down and stretching movements for roughly 20 seconds a piece, give or take. We're gonna start off with just a basic march. We kind of, uh, the last two exercises were pretty easy, so whether you know it or not, we've already been working on bringing our heart rate down from those jump squats and some of that more intense stuff. So just breathing deep, get your arms moving around a little bit, stretch things out. Okay, next up we're going to act as if we're doing a toe touch, but we're gonna go in a circle so we get to stretch out all different parts of the hamstrings here, the backs of the thighs. It's got a nice and smooth movement. Let's really feel out those different places of tension in your lower body. There's probably a lot of them right now. Two, one, you're gonna come right down the middle and just hold it. So as little or as much range of motion as you have here, just don't bounce and don't feel bad if you can't reach very far. This, this kind of thing changes quickly, so if you're working out with us, you're gonna see a change in your range of motion pretty fast. Okay, next we're gonna to lean to one side and stretch out inside thigh here. Kind of lean away from yourself if you need to feel it even deeper. Mm -hmm. 
switch sides, come over, do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to stand up, pull your heel up to your butt, stretch the front of your thighs, your quads. Switch sides. Next, we're going to do a standing calf stretch. So you're going to stick one leg out like this and pull your toes up towards your body. You can sink a little lower if you want. You'll also feel it along the back of your thigh again. Feels kind of nice, but just Pull this toe up, you should feel it right in the back of your calves. Switch sides. Alright, come stand tall. I'm gonna sink down into a downward dog. Just walk into it. Try to keep your heels flat on the ground. It's okay if you can't. And then try to press your shoulders or your head through your shoulders. Next, we're gonna lunge in between our feet or our hands. We'll come forward. Just press into that. Again, as much or as little as you need to in order to feel a stretch. Switch sides. And now come back and fold this leg underneath the body and then round over it. So you get a nice stretch again all through the outside and back of your thigh. And in the hip flexor of this other leg as well. This is a good stretch. Switch sides. Next, we're going to step back into a cobra. Put your hands on the mat, press up into a high plank, come down, and then press up, lifting your chest up off the mat, yeah, up towards the ceiling. Okay, we're going to sink back, and rest on our legs, in a child's pose. This is our last one, and then we're finished. Alright, there we go. Pushed all the way through it. If you made it through, congratulations. Good job, guys. This workout is complete.